Number 105. What is the effect on the amount of CaHPO4 that dissolves and the concentrations of Ca2 plus and HPO4 minus when each of the following are added to a mixture of solid CaHPO4 and water at equilibrium? Okay. So now first things first is that I already wrote down the balanced equation for what's going on with CaHPO4 and Ca2 plus and HPO4 minus. If you want to know where this came from, check out 105A. That's where I go into depth into how this equation becomes to be. So in this case, we're just going to get right into it. We're adding HCl. Now HCl is one of our strong acids, right? We've seen it time and time again. And strong acids always dissociate 100%. And it's going to break down into its ions, H plus and Cl minus. So that means that if I've added HCl, this is going to increase. And that means that both H plus and Cl minus is also going to increase. But now how do I translate this into potentially going into my equation? Generally, or you hope that one of the ions are the same, but if I look across this you know, balanced equation, there's no H plus and there's no Cl minus. So the only other option is if there is a acid base reaction. Well, HCl is definitely a strong acid and the acidic part is the H plus. Now, can H plus react with any of these in the balanced equation? Well, it's gotta be with the negative, it's gotta be with the base, right? And the base is HPO4 minus. And if those link up, you will form H2PO4. And I believe that, I, I guess that's a, a uh, zero charge, but HPO4 should be a negative one. Did they really mean that this was supposed to be a negative two? I think so. But we're just going to go with what they said. Anyway, the idea here is that if you have H+, plus, you're going to steal away HPO4 minus, right? And if you're stealing away because you're making another reaction happen, there's basically going to be very little left for this equation. So if your HPO4 minus is going over here, that means that you lost some of it, okay? So we answered one of the questions. You have a drop in HPO4 minus, and now what's going to happen to CaHPO4 and Ca2 plus? Well, this now comes from Le Chatelier's principle. In this case, we are now decreasing an amount. We're dropping. That means we have too little, so we have to get it back. In order to get it back, you always shift to the same side. So if your drop is on the product side, like it is here you're going to want to shift to that side to get it back. And if you're going to that side, whoever else is on the products is going to increase. So Ca2 plus is gonna increase. And if you're going to this side, you're breaking down more CaHPO4. So this will have to decrease. And there's your three shifts. CaHPO4 is decreasing, Ca2 plus is increasing, and HPO4 is decreasing. And that's it. Okay. I really hope this helped. Let me know in the comments, subscribe to the channel, and I hope to be talking to you soon. Uh, you know, through the computer, I'll just be talking to myself. <laughs> but anyway, I will, I'll be posting more videos later. <laughs> okay. It's pretty late. It's uh 2 17 AM. It's bedtime. Okay. Good night. Bye-bye.